So now, another thing that I wanted to like, like ask yeah. for me, I will tell you how I feel. But for you, how does it feel like when a Nigerian in Ghana commits a crime and is on the national TV? How do you feel? How do you usually feel about that? And so. In this video, we're going to share our experiences living in Ghana. Then, when we first came, and now, yes. what has changed? How Ghana have changed our lives, yes. both positively and negatively. But you most, know me, mostly positively. All right, oh, now you're yes. now your country. Now nah? you know. Go <laughs> me, I'm still a foreigner. I know. <laughs> She's automatically Ghanaian oh, now, yes. married to a Ghanaian man. Yeah. So when you first came to Ghana that time, as a young Nigerian girl, how was it for you? How was there anything you felt like you should have done right that you didn't do because you didn't know? If you, if you have the chance to go back and change something, mm. I don't go change anything. You not go change it. This was it for me. Yes, good things um, take time, which mm. I think this is it. But I've gotten to that peak where I know that I'm 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 gonna be. I don't know, open for people yeah. to know me because I have I have paid my dues. That's so nah. I'm not lie to you. I don't pay my dues. That's so So sometimes when I see Ghanaians wanting to come and start oppressing me, hey. I tell them, say Charlie, me I've paid my dues rightly in Ghana. So you know go feel oppressed me. Show yes. Me yes. For me, oh, if there's anything I would change, in, when I first come to Ghana, you know, yeah. I was avoiding their food. Mm. But you see that fufu in particular? Yeah. I was avoiding fufu oh. so much. If I had known, <laughs> now that one pay me, oh, for me, pay me, say, you know, I don't no. chop that fufu yeah. since that time. Oh. Now I feel like I've not had enough fufu because that thing is so good. Oh, yes. Um, For me, it, when I came initially, mm. it's before I started eating Ghanaian food. Really? You know, when I see my, my, my husband eating it then, you mm. know, we, then we're still cutting. So I'll be like, hey, mm. which kind of water, water be this? That's, all. <laughs> That's what I call it. Yeah, but it got to a time and he was like, babe, the only way you, you confirm this food is by eating it. <laughs> Just give it a try. Yeah. And that fateful day, I tested fufu and light soup. Till Good today. My goat life, meat. goat meat, ah. my life has never remained. <laughs> a Ghanaian so, foods are so nice. You so. know that fufu in particular? I used to see it a lot on the Ghana, Nigeria. You know Tunde Ednot on Instagram? Yes, yes, please. Tunde used to post, um, you know, he loves Ghana a lot. Ah, you know, oh, now yeah. Tunde liked Ghana plenty. He, was, he, lived, he used to live in Ghana before okay, he traveled to okay, the, US, okay. the, the US. Oh, okay. So he, from time to time, Tunde will bring Ghana food and post on his page oh, and ask yeah. people. <laughs> Can you eat this? Uh, eat or pass? And some Nigerians will be saying, Oh, yo, ah, what is this? Ah, Ebo, sacrifice it. Oh. This and this. Me, I'll be shaking my say, If you know waiting there for if you know food. waiting there, how that food be? All this and uh, this thing, one that they talk. Now, no go talk. Do you know Ghanaian foods are so healthy? Right? Yes, yes. The way Nigerian foods are healthy. Yes, too. Yes. The same way because this light soup they are talking about, mm. in light soup, you find your tomatoes, mm. you find your garden onion, egg. you find your garden eggs, you find your snail, mm. you find mm. your mm. fishes. I beg, I beg, I beg. I, I don't mean, to go so eat out healthy. I don't want. But because they cook everything <laughs> and they blend and make it into soup. Yeah, you won't see that. They hey, won't see that you then. don't know what's in the inside. Ah, you don't miss. <laughs> try today, try Ghana food, oh. especially highly recommended. Before yes. nice kinky that I used to like. Oh, kinky because when too. I first got to Ghana, the yeah. very first time I came, yeah. the first food I went for was um wache. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of rice. Whether yeah. be it's Nigerian or Ghanaian rice, I'm not a big fan of rice. Yeah. But I like that shit or the black pepper. Yeah. So that was what pepper. made me try um wache earlier. Wow. And I liked it. It was a normal food for me. Yes. Uh -huh. And then um kenke i liked it because that time i was avoiding fufu with okay. all my might Power. <laughs> when I had oh mm -hmm. charlie so i started early with those ones okay so but that fufu that mm -hmm. fufu like this it took me a while to, to try because of the soup yeah because everything was just looking so weird. different from what i know it to be you know now you know oh, what yes. fufu is in nigeria yeah, yeah. And you know that even the Nigerian fufu is not the same type, do you know? Yes, please. Uh, yes. The Igbo, our yes. own, you and us, we yes. have the same fufu. Yes, please. But Yoruba fufu, they're yeah. different. I hope you know. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. oh, yes. So, 
but it wasn't looking any of it wasn't it wasn't looking like any of those two yes because of the way they prepared yeah it. and then they had the soup inside like amala yes so that what how i started eating it was when i went to okay <laughs> you prepare everything and not go fish up yeah you go there really because see. that one i can express myself very well with her sure she now said you will eat it so they finished preparing that food i said let me try hmm. my sister now so the fufu they win me over since I'm that day you. now oh. that's how i become they influence they me put food. a whole lot of things a on whole lot of healthy things in there oh. what is that Ghanaian food that you're still struggling to like up to date i eat everything for me i'm still struggling to like banku and okra Hey, that's yeah. where the best that's Are just the best i beg you yeah my, do you. my daughter when she prepares the the Ghanaian way of their okra stew uh. you know they call it okra stew yeah how chinekena me with banku mm, no, you no, will no. love banku and tilapia in peace it's, it's very, very wild nice. when, when, when I... nigerians see this their sauce they eat with eh. the banku they be like ah. fresh tomato <laughs> go test and make you see how it is sweet you go, <laughs> capture you, go capture you oh Don't it's nice it. you know and this we also want to use this medium as mm. a content as a food content creator yeah you see people talking down on oh, people's food. food come on guys don't do that okay so this is not coming because you are married to a Ghanaian. this is no 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 Gener i'm generalizing it like, yeah yeah don't do that because everybody with their culture everybody mm. with what they eat you go to the northern part of the the nigerian yeah you see um um the houses cooking this um drying okra mm. and using it for soup we, where i come and from we like, dry yeah. okra yes and you see for soup uh-huh and you say this is disgusting mm. disgusting but this is somebody's main dish yeah so if you are curious or maybe you've never seen this kind of thing before yeah just you know ask how it's being prepared mm. i posted um abolo abolo and the the small small fish they eat with it mm. up on my facebook mm. guys you need to go to that <laughs> comment section on my facebook and see what people were writing someone was like which cockroach be this <laughs> oh my goodness and do you know something mm -mm. i'm so i'm so mature to the to some extent that i look at it when i see their comments i am one content creator that Don't i go through all my comments of your nobody comments. handles my phone for me i do mm. all that mm. myself and i i love the comment section because that is where i also learn mm. what people want to see what they don't want to see sometimes it's not really encouraging but we keep going you know because you don't just condemn people's things so when i see those comments i just laugh sometimes i i, I send the the, uh, the laughing emoji you know i just be like oh these people can be funny don't talk down on people's food is their heritage is their culture you have to respect yes. everything. Yes. I think it's only a wise person that can respect the culture of other yes. other people. If you are not wise, you will never be able to for me, where who I consider wise is when you have your own culture and you are not ashamed to display it, That's to represent it. You have to represent but your culture. But when other people bring theirs the ability for you to embrace and respect it i'm not even let me not say embrace the ability for you to respect it even if you don't want to indulge in it yes. you don't partake in it is everything that it's makes everything. you that that ends you my respect yes okay? you you um um you don't expect what you do in your place for another mm. person to do in this place mm. no, it doesn't work that way so we got to start respecting each other's mm. um, um opinions what they do ah when you get to rome you behave like rome yeah romance you know that is how it's been done we'll never believe you because of all the things they hear about us and all that see about around about us by some of our people then it depends on the kind well, of it depends person, on the person yeah right? you are with because ah you are talking of nigerians nigerians we have good nigerians i know now i know and I know you that know one. that if you want to really do something and succeed it's better you do with nigerians right come on babe we are we are we are so we, that means we should be in samarin like me now that he's looking for a husband hmm? yes precisely Ghanaian yes. husband Oh. Your husband does he have a younger <laughs> brother <laughs> or a senior brother? Oh, Terms no. and condition apply. <laughs> they they um, have good they, they they have good um, Ghanaians, you know the who, same way they, they have, have Ghanaians. Okay, let's say they have open-minded Ghanaians, right? Open-minded Ghanaians. Now, 
another thing that i want to like, like ask yeah. for me i will tell you how i feel but for you how does it feel like when a nigerian in ghana commits a crime and is on the national tv how do you feel how do you usually feel about that i feel bad yes i feel bad that's you don't feel ashamed? yes all of them join now i feel <laughs> ashamed because you know mm -hmm. nigerians nigerians that's what i said sometimes the way they portray them mm -hmm. yes yeah, sometimes the way they portray themselves outside it's, it's, it's not Shameful. nice. Yes. Not all Nigerians. Of think. course, man. Nah, yeah. I don't remain yes, from Ghana. Yes. And Nobody. they are the ones bringing the bad yes. name to us. Because mm. on a norm, Nigerians, they, they are... We be good they people. Like, we nice. So See, yes. like this. Yes. Me, I don't take nonsense. But oh. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we have this kind of energy. Yeah, yeah, energy. Nah, Opa. 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 So, sometimes when I see these things they do, I feel so so bad i feel so ashamed because mm. they are just spoiling the good name of Nigeria. yes and they make everybody to suffer yes so for me i have suffered a lot because let me break this thing down mm. for you you know ghana mm. why we talk about ghana is because we are we here we are here we mm. live here mm. we know them they are very peaceful loving people yeah if you come ghana where you keep quiet Ghan ghanaians will not disturb you they're not gonna worry right but, oh yes babe if you come here come they make no no no, no. Do on a norm ghanaians will not just see you and start picking on you yeah, but i feel like if you're in Nigeria and you're in ghana all eyes on you to see so that that uh, elements of <laughs> nonsense <laughs> come out <laughs> element of nonsense oh, element of nonsense you try them baby you go collect that's what i'm like telling that. you mm. Ghanian, <laughs> Ghan no no not true Ghanians, eh? They know, they know, they are, their mind, they tell them, say, Nigerians are wahala people. Uh -huh. So they go ready for you. They, no, they me, I'll be that kind of person too. Yes. And they always, they wait. Make you fuck up. But I'm not going to ever slap them. Yes. You understand? But are they ready to make sure, say, I see they, you go collect, I see they mess, as in, yes. You, you go know, collect, uh -huh. you go, you go so they look you, water. especially like, when I went to Igbos. Sorry, I don't hate Igbos. I'm more Igbo than any other tribe in Nigeria. You know why? Mm -hmm. If Biafra happens today, I'm one okay. of them. Okay, but like when I'm dealing with Igbos, mm, okay. especially back home, I they always they watch whether you want to cheat me. <laughs> that is, you understand? Yeah. So that I go fit defend myself. You, okay. you get. Yeah. So I think that is what we are going through here, right? Yes, but that's, that's what I'm saying also, my dear. I, mm. I totally agree with what you say. Mm. But what I'm also saying is that because of this mindset that Daniels yeah. have about Nigeria, yes. Even when you don't do anything, they you want go, to. They, they want they to wait, yeah. may you do yeah, so. Yeah, they don't really that, say yes. you go still do. Yes. No, later. If yes. you are not doing now, later, you go do it. <laughs> you go display. So you go display now time, now you need. Mind already. Uh -huh. So, but you as a Nigerian that hmm. knows where they, they look us or where yes. they categorize us, should make a change. Don't give them that chance, okay? Yes. Don't give them a chance to reject us in their houses, say they won't rent yeah, us. because of their attitude, mm. okay? You go see a um, Ghana man will get like 200 million mm. for your account. Mm. Because still they come. But you Nigerian, if My you just sister. get some 10 pesos, no, you go to vibrate. My sister. I mean, <laughs> Wait and this thing, they don't like it. They feel that you are you are also worrying them with the little you have. She you be are pressing them. And the third person, <laughs> you get one person, I don't go mention her name. Yeah. Whether you go know and that person. I know we mention her name for my channel. Yes. But like when she came to it a lot of product, she was like, hey, this one they are not um I'm writing, they are not even saying anything at the comment section. Ghanaians are not writing, you know, are you sure they will come? Mm. I say, Well, for me, oh, that day they go come shut you down, they go buy everything where you carry come they, need they you go sell you out. You buy they'll buy everything. But if you are waiting to hear anybody write at the comment section, fire. Fire, now we did yeah, fire. You're not going to see you. you want but on that day, mm, you will see them. They will come, they will buy ev almost everything from you and go. And I think I was right when that day came. So when it comes to this issue, I'm, I'm trying to relate to what you have, you said, that when they have money, they won't be loud, they yeah, still yeah, be no, calm. Like that. But we, when we have small money, then we start vibrating. Hey, but it's a good now. It's good to vibrate now. When you get money, show. You don't know. No, no, no. 
on show so that people but every... you talking about um if you have money you have Shout to buy bread oh no 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 we don't need that our president here in ghana said sika on pedede that means money don't like noise i beg oh Mr. president yeah. let's add small noise to no, that no, money no, to no, be no 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 <laughs> no Truly, do you know that even Nigerians are really rich? Rich Nigerians don't make noise. Do you know that? I am telling you, if you get because money, they don't want you to you even know they have money. money. Yes. They don't want. May you know the source of the that money. That they, don't money they don't make. They don't make noise. So in Nigeria, you, noise? you see, huh. and if you observe very well, most of the time the people who want to, to make people believe they have that money are the ones with no money. Then the ones who have the money won't talk. That is it. I met a lady uh, when I had my first child. And she was really nice to me. She's a, she was really nice to my daughter. She's a pediatrician. Okay. She was really good. So I thought of, I said, okay, when I leave the hospital, I was going to save money and buy her a handbag. Okay. Because she, you know why? She comes to school. She co I say school. She comes to work with this laptop bag. Oh, okay. And she usually do her hair. You know this wig we wear? You won't see her with, she'll braid her hair, short, simple hair. So I thought maybe she didn't have money. Do you know that that woman, before I left that place, that woman gave me 200k. Wow. 200,000 era. That's like, right now in cities, around 3k, right? Yes. Like 3,000 cities. That was what she gave me, and she don't know me before. And I didn't ask her for it. Wow. She felt like I spent quality time at the hospital. I've lost a lot at home, so I needed that money. Wow. I was, it shocked me, like, it shocked me. So I was very surprised. So that kind of made me know that, okay, truly, oh, successful people, Sometimes they don't, they don't, they don't dress. Not sometimes. It's is how right. it's supposed to be. People that are that are that amount something mm. to in the society, you see them very simple. They're simple, eh? You they don't, don't need talk. to make noise, babe. Let your let your success what, and whatever make just, the noise for you. That's what. Even with people seeing you, you know, sometimes. Like me, mm. I'm, I'm making myself as an example now. You see me, I'm so simple, so free. So, so sometimes when you see me, you think maybe I have a lot, but I have nothing. <laughs> and I'm I simple with you it. have a lot. <laughs> ah, see how beautiful I am. She has a Ghanaian husband. She has more than me. Look I need my own. <laughs> I don't know which part of the Bible because yeah. I can't remember the last time I read it. Do Bible? <laughs> You, you go to church, we'll Nabi, I don't. Church, church, church. Uh, so I can't remember, but it's yeah. boldly written. I read it in those days Just when I was still. Stay humble. Stay know. humble. Mm. He said, I will lift you up when you humble yourself. Yes. And when you um, arrogant, you pride yourself, oh. I will reduce you. Oh, cry. Right? Yes, so my dear. Yes. So, Thank you so much for coming to thank make. Thank you. So, all right. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to tag her. On this one again and please make sure you catch up the interview i did with her yes. on her marriage to a ghanaian man yes. all right so yeah. support her channel and also support mine i will Thank see you. you in my next one bye bye bye